Welcome to getting started with Google Docs. And what I'm going to do with this video is I'm going to show you um, how to create a Google account and kind of show you all the things you can do with the Google account and then kind of get started with Docs. Uh, so we're starting right here at Google.com. You can see today we've got a new doodle. This is for Gregor Mendel. It's July 20th, his birthday. All right, um, let me show you how to create a Google account. Now, before I create this Google account, I just want to tell you, you have got to get a Google account. Um, there are just so much, there are so many things that you can do with a Google account, and I'll show you some of those things here in a minute. Um, but if you don't have one, you need to get one. All right, um, I am signed out, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to register and get signed in. You're going to click on sign in, and you won't have anything in here if you don't have a Google account already, so you're going to click on this, create an account now. And real simple, uh, enter your email address that you want to, uh, that you want to use, eight character long password, here's the tough part, get in that word verification, terms of service, and create your account. Now, once you have your Google account, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. All you'll do is fill out your email and password here. Sign in. When you go to Google next time, you're going to have your account listed up here. Some settings you can work with if you want to. And you're going to have a whole suite of things that you can do up here in the left-hand corner. I just want to show you, kind of introduce some of those things that you can have access to now. All right, first of all, of course, you get Gmail, which is uh, Google's email service. You get access to that. Um, you also get uh, Google Calendar, which I haven't started one with this account, but that's a really cool way to keep track of your events, and you can sync it with your phone. In fact, all of these things can sync with sm smartphones. Google Reader, which I definitely uh, encourage you to try. This is mine. Uh, I've got a lot to read. These are all the different blogs that I follow. A um, really great way to keep up with um, blogs and, and keep up in your content area. You can also, um, if you click on more, you can see a bunch of the other stuff. If you have a Google account, Google bought YouTube. So if you've got a Google account, you now have a YouTube account. When you go to YouTube, your Google account will come up here, and you can upload movies right to YouTube um, and share video that way. You can also utilize the photo service. If you've never tried out Google Books, Google uh, News is really cool. I'm not going to go through all these. Um, you can also go to uh, Blogger. Let me show you that real quick. Under More and Even More, you can see a whole list of what you, what you can do. But if you have a Google account, you also have a blogging account. So if I go to blogger.com, or um, it will take me there, have me log in with my account, and I can use my blog right through here. So the bottom line is, if you, if you don't have a Google account, you need to get one um, as soon as you can. There's just a whole bunch of stuff that you can do. All right, now what we're going to start focusing on is Docs, Google Docs. So uh, let me go ahead and click on Documents here. It kind of give you an idea of what it looks like and an overview. Google Docs is a great entrance into the cloud, which you have, if you haven't heard about it yet, is a way to store your documents um, on the Internet so you can access them wherever you go. Um, Google Docs lets you upload your own documents, lets you create your own new documents, and it lets you share those documents with lots of other people so that there's one copy of the document and you can invite other people to come in and look at it and share with it, edit it, change it, and you can all be working on the same document instead of passing an, a document around via email or whatever. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, this video is kind of dragging on here, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here. And in the next uh, video, the basics, we're going to talk about how to upload documents, how to create new documents, and all the different options you have. Thank you.